house was built in 1916. It was built by a man named Fuller. Fuller was a developer of the time. I think 26 or 27, Sammy Goldwyn bought it. When Sammy Goldwyn bought it, um, it was the height of Hollywood right here. This is old Hollywood. I mean, this is, this is where everybody who was anybody used to live. Rosalind Russell, Betty Davis, you know, what they would do is they'd come out of their house, the limo would take them right down to the Grauman Chinese Theater, which is not even a minute away. In 1916, this house cost $32,000 to build. And now you can buy it for $5.19 So you can just see what our economy has turned into over the years. This is a style of, this is considered neoclassical. And this is the foyer entrance. This down here, I felt that the, the room lacked a focus to it. It's made actually by paint. What they do is they bring in paint with brushes and they just brush it on there all by hand and then we seal it into the floor. Of course, a lot of people don't have fireplaces in their foyer, but in the old days, uh, technically you had a place for your guests to wait for you to make your grand entrance, so a la that. The living room is a beautiful room. All the rooms have a wonderful source of light. It was sad because when I bought the house, you could every, the, the house was so dark because it was so overgrown. But the scale of the room is just beautiful. And here. Apparently she wants to be in on the mix here. In here is our conservatory. The conservatory in the old days was actually a room where you had your plants. And that's where, if you look down here, you'll actually see metal grates in the floor because your plants would drain through this. Over here is another bachelor tile, and this is an old 1916 heater. So, God forbid in California, certainly in Los Angeles, your um, nights don't get that cold, but in case you did, your plants wouldn't freeze. You could turn this on. So what I did was I recreated an old um, theater room. The great uh, thing about this kind of room is you sit in here, it's a functional room, and the surprise is it becomes a theater room. It was Catherine Hepburn who once said, you knew where you you knew where your career was by where you were seated at Sammy Goldwyn's table. So this would have been the room that probably everybody who was anybody in Hollywood in the 19, the mid 20s, the early 30s ate dinner in, right here. This kitchen was a really difficult kitchen to design because this is a big house, this is not a big kitchen. So I had to give the illusion that it was a bigger kitchen. Um, and what I basically did was just tore out everything and started over. Um, over here, we had dinky little windows, and as you can see, this is the money shot. Um, in the old days, this room was used as a servant's kitchen. So the servants in those days never had access to the main house. So I, we don't have that anymore. Basically, you know, our nannies and everybody are like our best friends. This is the master suite. The master suite consists of six rooms. I always like to build my flat screen TVs in. Um, this is a great example of just building it right into the wall. This was Sammy Goldwyn's um, study. This is where he used to read all of his scripts, right here in this room. When you're gifted with something that's an original, which is a detail like this, well, I decided, okay, I'm going to recreate all new medicine cabinets. Well, when I created my medicine cabinets, I followed that detail in all of my medicine cabinets to make them look original. And that's a nice touch for people to do. It's not overly expensive, and it just makes it all tie together. A lot of people are so ready to tear apart history, you know, and not try to preserve it. Um, this pool house is where hundreds of thousands of dollars were lost and won every single night. Sammy Golden's wife found out that he was gambling out here with all his crony friends. She put a stop to all the gambling right away because literally $100,000 could be lost one night and $130,000 could be won the next night. So everybody who was anybody of the guys were all playing cards in here. My company's name is Rothschild Productions Incorporated. And what I basically do is I specialize in houses that are built, you know, between 1890 and 1940. You know, as far as people usually buy these houses, they need to be, you know, refurbished. 
I'm not the person you call to redo a bathroom. I'm the person you call to redo a whole piece of property. What I, what I do is do the interiors, the exteriors, and then work with the landscaping design. I bought the house two and a half years ago. I couldn't believe that nobody had bought it. And um, I beat the developers out by one day. They were going to tear it down. As a matter of fact, uh, two weeks after I started cutting down the trees, they came and they called my realtor and said, you know, we'll, we'll pay this guy $300,000 to just stop. You know, and they would, my realtor called, well, they want to pay you $300,000 to just stop. I said, why? Well, they want to, you know, they know, they want to tear it down and build condos. I said, well, it's not going to happen. So about, I think about a month later, this guy runs up the driveway and says, uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, um, um, apparently you haven't been getting our messages. I said, well, why is that? He goes, because we've been offering a lot of money for you to just stop. I said, oh, you, yeah, yeah, no, I've been getting your messages. We'll pay you $500,000 to just stop. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, why? He goes, we have great plans for this property. I said, you know what? So do I. So I'll tell you what. You come back in about six months, because it's going to take me about six months to do this. Come back in six months, make me an offer with a five, with lots of zeros. Then we can discuss this. He said, well, I don't understand. I said, well, then you won't be tearing it down. With those numbers, you won't tear down this house. Mm -hmm.